all right welcome back to soul flow tv again everybody it's your host with the most so the big up to the gleaner let me say first of all because it is from the gleaner that i will read this article and then i will expound up on with my own chain of thought my own opinions of such all right so again big up to the gleaner it's a popular jamaican newspaper been around since 1834 listen this story the headline says bad vibes two jurors on cartel murder case facing tough times overseas after seeking safe haven now i was saying to myself why would two jurors jurors not witnesses jurors have to run away and leave jamaica and go seek safe haven overseas maybe is that uh it was leaked their identity and people were angry because they found them guilty and wanted some kind of retribution some kind of uh, payback the story says two of the jurors who handed down the guilty verdict in the vibes cartel murder trial in 2014 are claiming that their lives have been transformed into nightmares since then the two are now living overseas and say it has been difficult trying to make a new life in a foreign country away from their families they are among three of the 11 jurors who relocated overseas after cartel whose correct name is Adija Palmer and his protege Sean Storm Campbell were convicted along with Kahira Jones and Andre St. John for the killing of Clive Lizard Williams in August of 2011 they also gave evidence in the corruption trial of 50 year old football coach Livingston Kane a fellow juror who is accused of offering them $500,000 to return a verdict of not guilty against the entertainer. Now, to Vibes Cartel them credit, it was said that they don't know this football coach and they have no dealings with him. So whatever he went off and did on his own trying to buy um, an a innocent verdict instead of a guilty verdict or the verdict that came down trying to sway the jury then, bribery, they had nothing to do with it and it has been established that they have no connection and they do not know each other why is this taking so long Kane's corruption trial is still going on before the Kingston and st. Andrew Parish Court while the Court of Appeal is still deliberating on the legal challenge filed by cartel and the other men against their murder conviction but the two juror last week expressed fear that they will never set foot in Jamaica again so a little up to date for people who don't know Wives Cartel along with Sean Storm and the rest of the men were convicted and were sentenced life sentences however they were granted the right to an appeal that appeal process has already happened right they were able to go before an appeal um, board again and our Supreme Court board again and here have their case or new evidence submitted and their case reheard or rehashed and now we are waiting to hear if they will actually be doing the rest of the time they were convicted and given or they will be able to walk free the jurors here though on the other hand they are saying why is this the football coach the 50 year old football coach Livingston Kane who was accused of offering them five hundred thousand dollars to return a guilty verdict in to return a not guilty verdict in the vibes cartel trial why is his trial still dragging on so long now pardon me for a little bit but let me say this if them jury they are jamaicans and they come from jamaica truly then they must know that don't expect the laws to change when it's your time and your turn to have to go through it Jamaica's justice system has always been like that. I've seen many times where people committed an offense in 20, uh, 2005 and their trial don't go to court until 2010, 2014. Like seven, eight, nine years later. And this is a typical thing in the Jamaica um, court system. So I don't want anybody to start acting like things are supposed to be sped up now because it's my turn see and that's why i speak on soflow tv about 
we need to start talking about justice for all or justice for none because only when your finger get mashing at the door now you want them to change the door now all right Kent's corruption trial is still going on before the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court while the Court of Appeal is still deliberating on the legal challenges filed by Cartel and the other men against their murder conviction. But the jurors are the two jurors that went away to seek safety overseas. They are wondering why is it taking so long and they are afraid that they will never set foot in Jamaica again. Why is this taking so long? Why are you going to draw out the trial of the man? One of the jurors told the Sunday Gleaner during a telephone interview last week in reference to Kane. She relocated overseas under Jamaica's Witness Protection Program and charged that the local justice system is in need of urgent overhaul. So you see what I'm saying? Now you want urgent overhaul or overhaul. We've been calling for that for years now. The witness protection program is designed for criminals who turn over evidence to the police. It is not designed for law-abiding citizens who built a life in Jamaica, said the former business owner. She said she is now struggling to find and maintain a job in her predominantly Caucasian neighborhood. So they move her gone to some white people place and she's having a rough time there. You know how it go when you are the only flying at the buttermilk and you looking for work in those areas. If you don't have some high qualification, it's probably menial employment, cooking, cleaning, 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 and more cleaning. She said she is now struggling to find and maintain a job. If you are a criminal in Jamaica and nothing is going on in your life and you decide to turn over evidence and go on the witness protection program, you may enjoy it because you can start over but for a person like me who is an extrovert family oriented and love having friends around the answer is no she added all of my personal information has been changed which is what they do in the witness protection program which simply means i have no past i have no identity and i am a citizen of nowhere that hurts she declared According to the former juror, she has, been con she has contemplated suicide as a means of escaping her situation. Um, I said, come on, no man. Alright, so stick up in for a second. If you ask me if I feel sorry for these jurors, yes, I do. Because I have never heard of jurors having to run for their lives. Never have I heard of jurors having to run for their lives. Now, some people might say, so Flo, you live a far and too long, you know, and these kinds of things. But pardon me, but I'm, I'm probably going off of what I see, say, in the United States or in uh, Great Britain or in Canada. From a jury selection, you are able to go, sit on a jury, deliberate, give a verdict, and go about your business, Right? Roughly uncaring or, un or not feeling like you're in danger then. But then again, Jamaica is so small and somebody knows somebody that knows somebody. So it's very easy, especially in a high profile case like this, for someone to say, yo, you know, say a Jones from over there, so they depend on the jury and that them find the man guilty. You know, it, it, it's very easy. But then again, this case was not a public case as in TVs were not allowed in the courtroom and the general public was not allowed in the courtroom so how would their identity have escaped but again huh, we're talking about Jamaica here right all right I just find this uh, odd that all this comes up now at a time when they have just completed the appeal process and are awaiting a verdict or a, yes awaiting a verdict and then comes all this now were these jurors not feeling unsafe a year ago two years ago three years ago four years ago five years ago how come this is all just coming out now this is what i want to know also 
Now I'm just looking at things from many different angles. Leave your comment in the comment section below and tell me what you think and what questions are going through your mind as we talk about this. Now for this juror to say she has contemplated suicide as a means of escaping her situation which is being in the witness protection program. She said that she's prohibited from speak. Get this part. She's prohibited from speaking to relatives outside of the eight days per year they are allowed to visit her at a location away from where she lives. Me can't imagine that. The jury said the juror said her identity has been changed and she has been barred from contacting anyone in Jamaica and from speaking to any Jamaican she may have come across where she is located. Wow. All that because you testified, not testified, really to get a soft law. All that because you sat on a jury of a trial for Vibes Cartel and others. That's a bit heavy. Her social media accounts are also monitored. And while the Jamaican government gives her a stipend to pay for her living quarters, she must work to take care of her other needs but because she is not a citizen of the country that she now lives in she has to work menial jobs now again stick up in it is my belief here that the Jamaican government is absolutely responsible for every bit of maintaining uh, up to standards lifestyle for these individuals after all we don't walk in and say i am here to be on the jury and you must put me on you are selected am i correct well i know over here in the united states of america you get something in the mail that says you have jury duty and you cannot say no but what you can do is go and play crazy or go and act like you're biased and i know a lot about this case and i'm i'm already swayed judge me already think the man guilty and they won't put you on the jury I don't know if it's the same in Jamaica if it is somebody talk up let me know were there ways for this individual to have avoided going on this jury but then again maybe they were doing their civic duties and did not see far enough ahead to foresee that all this trouble would have came with that her social media accounts are also monitored the Jamaican government gives her a stipend, but she has to work for everything else. Then them go put me in a place where me don't know nobody, nobody knows me, no job set up. They have no connection for me to find employment. I have to get out there and go find work for myself. That sounds way too crazy. But because she is not a citizen of the country that she lives in, she has to do menial jobs. And like I said before, it's cook clean or clean, clean, clean. And it's those kinds of jobs she's going to be able to get. I spend Christmas by myself. I spend New Year's Day by myself. And what angers me even more is that the person, the juror, who is the main source of this whole thing, she's referring to the 50-year-old coach who tried to bribe them with $500,000 to come back with a not guilty verdict that he was able to spend his holidays out on bail with his family it is as if I am in prison for taking an oath to serve my country she said the second juror is not a part of the witness protection program but applied for and was granted special migration privileges by the country where he now resides after he outlined his ties to the vibes cartel trial and his safety concern all right stick a pin again so y'all tell me now sir these jurors after returning their guilty verdicts were actually able to use this case and say to some immigration for some country somewhere hey i am seeking asylum I am running away because my life is in danger. This man, very influential, powerful entertainer, Vibes Cartel, 
I sat on a jury that just found him guilty and I do believe that they are after my life because he has many yes men, henchmen and fans and fanatics that will come for me and based on them telling that to some immigration place overseas they were granted the right to fly out of Jamaica and go live in another country let me tell you something straight man turned batman for visa straight man turned batman for visa there are people who have turned lesbian or homosexual and claimed that for a the right under asylum to stay in foreign countries like Canada and the USA right there are stories out there where they wanted proof that that is how the person was and the person had to actually go shock up and live with a, a person of the same sex and be seen out got dinner with in public with hug up and kiss up and these kinds of things to make it real you understand and I've heard that some of these people aren't even like that or never were like that before so I'm wondering now if this person just took this as an opportunity to say yo overseas you know long I want a visa for fly out see me opportunity here and took it as that leave your comment in the comment section below I want to hear what you think about that one because that is rather interesting I mean I find it weird that the one of the jurors aren't even are not, they're not a part of the witness protection program they're out there living freely in another country so why did this juror take it upon themselves to apply for and go into a witness protection program to the point where you have to change identity stay away from your family spend holidays by yourself only see your family eight days out of 365 days at a special location designated by others away from where you live that's that's a stretch now if the other juror is out there juror is out there living freely and nobody is harming them what makes this one so paranoid to think that they need to be in a witness protection program because it clearly says the second juror is not a part of the witness protection program but did apply for and was granted special migration privileges by the country where he now resides so what am I gonna say? Him sell out cartel for a visa. <laughs> I saw. But hear this. He left his wife and children in Jamaica. And he has not seen them in person in more than three years. He fears they will never be able to visit Jamaica again. You know what that sound like to me? That sound like when man run off by farm work. And you know so enough of them left them family in Jamaica, them wife, them picnic and everything. And I've heard stories where them reach a foreign country, find a new woman, start a new family, and all these things. And there are other stories where man reach a foreign, find somebody married, later divorce, send for them real family. And so I don't know what this plan, this man's plan is, but ah, this is sticky. Leave your comment. I'm interested to know what my audience thinks about this one. The man run gone left him wife and family. Him wife and him picnic them. He fears that he will never be able to visit Jamaica again. Why? Why? Because you think that someone is going to harm you. Were you threatened? Then firebomb your house? What? Your family is still there. And so, you Mr. Protector Provider run gone left your family. Hmm? And your family is still there to sit through it all. You don't know say Jamaica this man where them say if you can't catch Kwaki catch him shut and you run gone left your family. Right? You're not in fear. I'm sorry. I really thought that this process, here's what he said. I really thought that this process would have been completed already, but since I move, it has been a battle in court and nothing is really happening, he argued. I fret every single day for my family because up to this point they are still there and my son is getting older and he is asking where his daddy is every day and he can only video chat I can't even mention the sleepless nights all the hurt and the pain said the juror for the two returning to Jamaica would be their ultimate pleasure okay so in order for them to return to Jamaica what would they 
need to happen that's what I want to know you know what's funny to me is reading these comments in the um, newspaper where this article is printed and it shows how Jamaican people a lot of the times we, t we, we love to shoot the messenger or we love to blame the wrong person for instance it's like blaming the local gunman only solely for everything that's going on without looking at the bigger picture that there are no gun factories in the country in which this man owns a gun and him so poor him never been really outside of him community much less out of the country to go get this gun yet still this gun found him so who is manufacturing these guns and bringing them in to the country and bringing them in so efficiently they're ending up in the hands of some of our poorest people so people not willing to look the full 100 when it comes to the problem in this case they would rather blame the lawyers dirty lawyers standing up for these criminals uh, the lawyer is doing what the lawyer is supposed to do in a society where there's law and order you need lawyers okay someone said until decent law-abiding lawyers decide to take a stand against crime and criminality then we are talking nonsense whether you want to believe it lawyers and police are a part of the legal system and when they are both deemed corrupt in the court of public opinion and the court of law what do you think the criminals on the sidelines are doing why do believe the government had to call a state of emergency in certain parishes this person is very lost as a matter of fact because their whole opinion of us needing a lawyer and everything they're talking about lawyers that are upstanding and against crime and criminality when even the very bible say woe be unto you lawyers and doctors because uh, from the beginning of time the profession of law has always been there lawyers have always been there and doctors so and we know that doctors save people based on how much money they have and how much good insurance they have no doctor don't go out of their way and work for free you understand doctors want to be doctors a lot of the times they have a lifestyle that they can flaunt the fancy cars their children go to the best schools they have a opulent status in society what are you i'm a doctor right i pull the yacht out on the weekends we live in a mansion these kinds of things i'm a doctor lawyers same thing uh, we know say lawyers their job is to give the best representation of their client possible and get their client off of whatever those charges are a lot of the times lawyers know very well that their clients are guilty but their job is to make them seem innocent of the charges that are laid against the client that is what they get paid to do to study the law and to manipulate the law in ways that normal laymen cannot right so yeah man so much so that vibes cartel and his co-accused should rot in prison and all those that support his slackness so you see what i'm saying this is the undertone in the comment section because people are calling for cartel now to rot in prison because these jurors have come out right timing right after the appeal process has been heard to say how much they are suffering because of the case because they sat on the jury not only did they sit on the jury you know they also gave evidence against the coach the football coach that um is accused of trying to bribe the jurors so and we're talking about um the guy that wanted to pay them fifty thousand five hundred thousand dollars rather to return a guilty verdict they also gave evidence in the corruption trial of the 50 year old football coach livingston kane a fellow juror accused of offering them five hundred thousand dollars to return a guilty verdict a not guilty verdict sorry against the entertainers so was it mr kane who could possibly have gone out into the public and say yes man me know them identity me i go tell you who them is them find the man guilty when you go deal with them could it possibly be i mean they're angry as hell at mr kane and i can't help to think 
anything other than. Matter of fact, there was another juror lady that asked her to be excused from jury duty because at the time she had been selected, her son was locked up with Vibes Cartel and Sean Storm them, right? And she went to go look for her son and who did she see face to face? The accused. And based on that, she told the judge, look, I don't want no parts of this. I feel like my life would be in jeopardy. They know who my son is. He's locked up with them. And that can probably lead them to finding me. So please take me off this jury. And she was excused. Right? I don't know. Leave your comment in the comment section below. This, this thing, I'm looking at it from so many different angles. And as much as I'm remorseful um, for the jurors, uh, them serving simple jury duty and then having to run or feeling like they have to run for their lives. There is so many red there are so many red flags here at the moment. The timing of the release of this information coming from them, as well as one of the jurors not in any witness protection program, but did use this case to apply for and get the right to fly out and live in another country and then there's that juror who feels like she needs a witness protection program and is claiming she's suffering because she's away from family and may never set foot in jamaica again talk to me in the comment section and let me hear what y'all got to say about this one man it's soulflow tv i'm up out of here peace